Lead. Achieve. Serve. And we are about excellence, leadership, tradition, and the future. Well, when Dan, my oldest, was ready to go to high school, we took him to a lot of the other great high schools that are in the Chicagoland area. And when we walked out of Fenwick and we were walking back to the car, Dan said, this is the place for me. And it was. Fenwick is a special place because it's a diverse group of kids coming from all over Chicago and the suburbs. And we're all coming here and we're going to have a tough but incredible experience. And there's an expectation when you come here as a student that you will work hard, you'll be behaved, you'll try to excel, and you know, you'll, you'll do things the right way. And that's, that's how it was when I went here, and that's what I wanted for my kids. Fenwick's a tradition in our family. All my uncles went to Fenwick, all my cousins went to Fenwick, and they all became so successful because of the great foundation they got at Fenwick. I um, had shadowed here, and my brother had gone here, so it's always just been the best place. It's a great school, great environment, and I never even looked anywhere else. There are probably families that have, have probably have four generations of Fenwick students who've come through. Why do they keep coming back? Probably for the same reason that uh, I went there, my brother went there, our kids went there. You know, it's a special place because to this day, it still encapsulates and uh, actually is testament to uh, what a Dominican education is all about. The four pillars of Dominican spirituality, prayer, study, community, and preaching, mark every aspect of life at Fenwick. From how we think about ourselves and our relationship with each other and God, to how we strive in the classroom, and to how we are sent out into the world as servant leaders. To see a place where the values which we as Dominicans honor and respect, to be able to pass this down to future generations, young men and young women, is, is a joy. The faculty in particular have a major role in helping our kids get into the colleges that they want but then also to prepare them for real life. Honestly, Fenwick is the toughest school I've been to. And that is, I mean, I'm including college and graduate schools. I was so prepared um, when I went to college because I learned time management. Fenwick works very hard to produce leaders, uh, people that have a lot of confidence and take responsibility for themselves, be it from the teachers, um, working things out directly with the students, the different sports coaches, always communicating through the children, not through the parents, making the kids from you know the day they walk in be responsible for their own destiny. They're always talking to us about achieving our goals and setting goals and always being the best that we can be. Our students are involved in all sorts of activities like band and choir, athletics, and then all sorts of extracurricular activities as well. Fenwick offers a lot of opportunities to get involved and that's always been something I've been taking advantage of. I'm on the track team and the cross country team and it has been probably the best experience of my life. The people you get to meet and the, the experiences that you go through are surreal. You don't get put in a box. Like, you can be yourself, you can explore all different aspects of your interests without being limited to just one thing. Students that come to Fenwick have an expectation. They understand that Fenwick has a strong tradition of excellence and leadership. And I think it's important that we have the, the facilities that are reflective of that excellence and that tradition. We have excellent programs and the success that we've had with the programs is really pretty amazing when you look at the facilities that we have. For our centennial in 2029, a master plan was developed to address Fenwick's most urgent needs. 
music and arts, student life, parking, academics, and athletics. The chapel has been completely renovated and some athletic needs have been met with a 10-year football stadium lease and the turfing of Fenwick Field over at the Priory. The facility's plan includes an on-campus parking garage and the Centennial Edition with new music and arts rooms, a dining hall, a student union, more classrooms, and a new gym dedicated to indoor practices. So as we celebrate our centennial, 100 years of this great institution, we really want to enhance, uh, enrich, and, and build up the character of the school. We're taught not to judge a book by its cover, but it's human nature to do so. Looks matter, and Fenwick's current appearance doesn't speak to the great academic institution, the excellence we have behind the walls here. So the creation of the quad combined with the exterior enhancements will really uh, help foster an environment that celebrates pride and academic excellence, and it will allow our students to envision themselves on the campuses of great academic institutions around the country and the world. Research shows that students uh, will raise their expectations for their uh, education by looking at their surroundings. So if we give them an impressive, inspiring, uh, uplifting place to learn, they will actually raise their, their standards for themselves. So as you arrive on campus, you'd process through the gateway arch at the corner of Madison and East, and you would come across the quad to this great entrance. Immediately as you enter, you come across the brand new dining hall, which is filled with light. Uh, and can seat two periods of lunch, which, are, which functionally is such a great thing for the school. Groups can come in and use the space, and it's, you know, the view of the quad from, from the dining hall uh, is such an improvement over our current conditions. Adjacent to the dining hall, we envision a student union where uh, students, a uh, safe and comfortable place where students can gather, they can study, they can consume current events via digital media, uh, they can purchase concessions, school gear, and really provide an opportunity for them to sort of have a place they can be proud of. Here at Fenwick, over 300 students are now involved in the music program. When I started here just over 10 years ago, we practiced in a hallway between two offices. Then we got our music space that we're currently in, which we were already almost growing out of 10 years ago. The room we're in now, it's quite crowded. Kids come in and drop their backpacks, they take out instruments, and they're literally climbing over each other. Over the last 10 to 12 years, the Fenwick music program has grown in leaps and bounds, and the facilities have not kept up in that capacity at all. We need to be able to have facilities that reflect the talent level of the kids that are using them every day. The new music hall will allow a purpose-built space that has uh, rehearsal rooms uh, adjacent to the actual overall space where students can keep an eye on the various groups working on their music. Uh, it will have offices, instrument storage, all of those things that, that will enhance and grow the music program to keep us competitive with our peer schools. The Fenwick Athletic Program is outstanding. We have dedicated students, teachers, families, coaches that are committed to seeing our kids develop and become better students, better athletes, better people. That being said, the addition of an all-weather field at the Priory during the earliest stages of the campaign has been a major improvement, but when you look at the fall and spring seasons, right now we're overusing our fields to the point where when we get hit with a certain amount of weather, we have to bring our kids into the gymnasium. During the month of March, we're rotating eight programs, 16 levels of kids, through two gymnasiums. When most of our competitors are outside practicing, we're stuck in two gyms. We really need another indoor practice gymnasium for our athletic teams to help our kids grow into better athletes, better students, and better people. In order for Fenwick to remain as an excellent and competitive institution, it is critical for long-term sustainable success that we have a very strong endowment. You know, endowment is critical importance. We have to be able to grow the endowment in order to offer, you know, financial aid to the to the families that have traditionally sent their kids to Fenwick and want to send their kids to Fenwick. We want to make a commitment that any student, no matter their background, if they want to come to Fenwick, we don't want economics to be the obstacle to that happening. The Fenwick tradition, uh, it's 
I find something very hard to articulate. It's something almost you have to feel. Now is the time for us to do this. Uh, now is the time for us to build on the facilities we have, build on the programs that we have, and provide a better experience for our students going forward. We all benefited from the generosity of people who came before us. If it weren't for the giants in Fenwick history who preceded us, none of us would be where we are today and, and none of us would have had the educational opportunities that we enjoyed while at Fenwick. So it's up to all of us. It's really set me on the path of where I am today and so it's important for other people like me to give back, remember their experience and give back and keep the tradition going. And so I think it's very important that we all invest in the Fenwick of today to make sure that the Fenwick of tomorrow is equally strong and excelling and that this tradition of excellence continues. I truly believe that they help generations, 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 and I would love to have that available for many generations to come. We have to give back. We have to preserve this tradition and this excellence. There's something there, and you need to ensure that whatever that something is, whatever that something is for you, that that is there for future generations. Investing in Fenwick is a worthwhile goal because to be able to educate students who go out and serve the community, who go out with good values, certainly can do nothing except enhance the society in which we live. In the future, it will be my turn. My turn. My turn. To give back. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.